One common trend seen in evolution is something known as convergent evolution. Some people will make a distinction between this and parallel evolution, but a lot of people just consider them the same thing. And the basic idea of both convergent and parallel evolution is when two different organisms, two different species that are not closely related, wind up looking similar. And it's not because they come from a common ancestor, it's because simply they live in similar environments or they're under similar kinds of selective pressure. What are some examples of this? For example, there's European rabbits in Europe that hop around in the fields collecting their little seeds or whatever it is that rabbits eat. And in South America, there's something called the Mara. If we take a look at a picture of a rabbit and a Mara, you'd say, hmm, they look pretty similar. Kind of longer forelegs, their back legs are good for hopping and jumping. They've got slightly, elong well, really elongated ears, not quite so long but it turns out they're not very closely related at all. In fact, this is a kind of rodent. Its closest relative is the guinea pig that you're familiar with. And that's a very different group from rabbits. Why do they look so similar? Because they live in similar environments. There are no rabbits where the Mara lives, so there's nothing occupying that environmental niche. So just like the rabbit had these adaptations to best suit its uh, needs, the Mara, under similar uh, forces, wound up doing, finding similar solutions. Now this leads into a discussion of what's called analogous traits. These are similar traits that are independently evolved in unrelated species, as uh, distinguished from homologous traits. That's very dissimilar traits that are uh, derived in related species. For example, I have a hand that I can use for picking things up, for grasping things and climbing trees. Bats have used this same limb, the front or uh, top arm or leg, but they've adapted it into wings. They've greatly elongated the fingers. If a bat tries to grab you with all of its phalanges, these bones here, it's not gonna work so well, all right? It can't climb trees as well as I can. It can't open up doorknobs like I can. Now, an, an example that you may be familiar with of convergent evolution are sharks and dolphins. They have very similar or analogous traits. They have a dorsal fin. They have this torpedo shape. They have side or pectoral fins. They've got all these fins. They're looking very similar. Why is that? Because this is a good shape for going through water. Right? If you're a big cube, you don't swim so well. If you want to swim at 20, 30 miles per hour, you look like this. That's why this is called a torpedo shape. Why is it called a torpedo shape? Because we make torpedoes that look kind of like this. Why? Because we want torpedoes to go fast through water. Sharks and dolphins are not closely related at all. They're separated by millions and millions of years, probably well over a couple hundred million years if I remember rightly. But dolphins and sharks wind up, often people will mistake one for the other. And I hope that you're mistaking a dolphin for a shark and not vice versa when you're at the petting zoo.